In an age where evil seems to know no limits or measures, where lies, ignorance, fear and cruelty daily rip innocent victims like satanic Molochs on their ever-fresh altars, the action of those few who, in the presence of evil, still manage to raise their hands, not losing hope, and looking at the world and life through the eyes of good, is proof that evil, despite the innumerable arrows it possesses in its bow, will never really triumph in the end. The few who wander in silence like lonely nights in a wasteland and who manage not to be knocked down by evil are the true heroes of our time. The purpose of evil is, in fact, to annihilate every form of life, and to do so it needs, in principle, to destroy hope, faith, every form of authentic optimism, trust in others, in short, the joy of life. To defeat evil, it is essential to act in its opposite measure. Evil hates everything. On the contrary, good feels benevolence and compassion towards everything and everyone, from the child to the adult, from the little daisy hidden in the fresh grass of a meadow to the tiny ladybug that walks briskly on a balcony, still imploring not to be killed. Evil creates despair and the will of death, good only trust and spirit of life. We respond to the evil of our world in its opposite form, that is true, true love, which shall not be mistaken for sterile moralism or hypocritical do-goodness, but under the banner of the gospel motto which invites us all to bless those who curse us, which is actually equivalent to cancelling the destructive action of evil, able to feed on the hatred that feeds it by sowing it in others through the feeling of good and mutual piety. I take the liberty of undressing an invitation to everyone so that the new year, unlike the latter, is marked by true and only good, that is, solidarity, compassion and love. Because, as the Chilean poet and filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky also says, through the care of others, I take care of myself. A dear wish for a happy new year, and may God bless you all.